you know, just curious. Curious for Jano. Never really talked about my time in his life in the Mad Pad. But, um, one thing about it was the role playing. Oh, yeah, the Dungeons and Dragons. Especially when it got mixed in with other gaming material. Oh, that was always fun. But then again, we were all listening to heavy metal, doing heavy drugs, and watching horror movies. 80s horror movies. You know, that's always got to be fun. And I was thinking about that, and it seems to me that I was thinking about gnomes, and it's like, I never met a gnome in a role-playing game with all the people I played with that didn't try to stick you, or stick it to you. I mean, these things were beyond friggin' humorous, even the supposedly non-evil ones, and we could talk a lot about evil games, how they degenerated into goth or best splash gore, more like, you know, with the t element of sci-fi and fantasy, dark fantasy, horror fantasy, yeah, nothing better than that. Sci-fi, horror, fantasy, role-playing, AD&D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was never a gnome that wouldn't stick you. <laughs> With humor. That's right. I mean, this has been about the negative influences of role-playing. And... In the wrong environment, in the wrong mindset, with an element of negativity around you, it will influence you. It reinforces all the negative things that you're dealing with in your life to escape from. And then you're stuck. That's right, the gnome will stick you.